let's discuss the pericardium channel luo connecting vessel system pathway the luo connecting pericardium vessel system separates from the pericardium primary channel at its associated luo connecting point p6 it forms a three dimensional reticular network dividing into multiple branches and sub branches within the surrounding tissue horizontal division run to the interiorly exteriorly paired triple burner primary channel according to some schools of thought they travel at transverse pericardium luo connecting vessel to u1 source point tb4 a longitudinal division follows the pericardium primary channel along the anterior aspect of the arm crosses ren 17 on the midline on the level of the fourth intercostal space penetrates the thorax and terminates at the pericardium and the heart clinical importance pathology for excess the uh, there's heart pain angina pain thoracic pain for deficiency restlessness irritability luo channel separates from the primary channel at p6 on the wrist connecting with the sanjiao channel at sanjiao 4 another branch spreads out between the two tendons and follows the pericardium channel to the pericardium after which it connects with the heart symptoms of excess chest pain symptoms of deficiency irritability the pericardium channel pathways as well as the status of the pericardium as the protector of the heart help explain most of the actions and indications of the points of the pericardium channel this can be summarized as treating disorders of the heart sound such as pain palpitation irregular heart rhythm treating disorders of the spirit and treating disorders of the chest in general including disharmony of the lungs treating disorders of the upper or middle jaw due to stagnation of the chi of the foot joy and liver channel with which the pericardium channel is paired according to six channel theory treating disorders of the middle jaw especially the stomach treating disorders of the lateral costal region the pericardium sinew channel disperses over the anterior and posterior ribs treating fibril disease the pericardium belongs to fire and takes the burn of attack by exterior pathogen that might otherwise injure the heart the points of the pericardium channel therefore are important in the treatment of fibril diseases especially at the nutritive and blood levels and when there is disturbance of consciousness treating swelling and pain of the axilla 